Hello friends, welcome to Daring Barana YouTube channel. Today, this session is also about continuation of the last topic that means problems that can happen during our watch. So, if there is engine is not reversing, what are the checks we need to do? So, coil of the solenoid valve for desired directional rotation. If the, that does not get, they are not getting voltage or not, we need to check. Controller signal for desired direction of rotation does not reach the engine or not we should check and loosen piping and check air root or defective valve these are check that we should run if the engine is not reversing coil of solenoid valve for desired direction or rotation does not get a voltage or not we have to check controller signal for desired direction of rotation does not reach the engine or not we have to check the loosen piping and check air root for defective valve should be checked cracked piston so for a cracked piston the indications are fluctuation in piston cooling water or oil flow increase of water or oil from scavenger drain piston cooling water or oil is excessively dirty temperature of piston cooling water or oil rises sharply color of exhaust is whitish if color is co if water cooled or gray if it is oil cooled then knocking sound if there is in during our watch if there is a cracked piston uh, what are the indication means fluctuation in piston cooling water or oil flow increase of water or oil from scavenger drain piston cooling water or oil is excessively dirty temperature of piston cooling water or oil rises rapidly color of exhaust is whitish if water cooled or gray if oil cooled then there will be knocking sound also so the reason for piston to get cracked is thermal stress caused by too much temperature or variations across small section of pipe of the piston or loose of coolant flow due to pump failure or cooling passage blockage then fuel injector needle and wall leaking causing impingement and burning of piston crown ineffective cylinder lubrication can be a reason improper piston ring functioning seized or broken rings unbalanced load or continuous overload operation the reasons are thermal stress caused by too much temperature variation across a small section of pipe also of the piston also the loss of coolant flow due to pump failure or cooling passage blockage fuel injector needle and wall leaking causes impingement and burning of piston crown ineffective cylinder lubrication improper piston ring function seize or broken ring unbalanced load or continuous overload operation so now discuss about broken piston ring last we discuss about cracked piston or now we discuss about broken piston ring so piston ring can be broken due to excessive thermal load insufficient cooling or distorted piston crown excessive piston ring clearance or distorted grooves sticking of piston ring or impact incompatible materials excessive lubrication or loss of lubrication collapse of piston ring so for a piston ring to get damaged main causes will be excessive if thermal load is more insufficient cooling or distorted piston crown excessive piston ring clearance or distorted grooves sticking of piston rings or incompatible material excessive lubrication or less lubrication or loss of lubrication or collapse of piston ring so what are the effects of this on piston ring loss of combustion blow past of combustion gases scavenge fire scuffing of cylinder liner so cracked liner cylinder liner what are the indication gas leak in jacket cooling water fluctuate in jacket cooling water pressure loss of jacket cooling water and increase in its temperature spark from funnel or water from the scavenger drains when the engine stop cylinder gives a knocking sound these are the indication of the cracked cylinder liner indications piston is running hot what are the indication knocking sound at both ends of each piston stroke drop in engine rpm rise in piston cooling water or oil temperature and jacket water temperature of the cylinder unit smoky excess so piston is running hot or is piston is running hot so what are the indications so we can say there will be knocking sound at both ends of the piston stroke and there will be drop in engine rpm so there will be piston cooling water temperature or oil temperature will be increased jacket water temperature of the particular unit will also increase and there will be smoky excess too if piston is running hot what are the action we need to take means cut out the fuel pump increase cylinder lubrication and stop the engine continue cylinder lubrication and turning 
even after the engine is stopped to prevent seizure, open and dismantle the piston. If slight scoring is seen on the piston, then smoothen with an oil stone or carborundium stone or emery, emery paper. Then check cylinder lubrication and piston clearance after inspection. So, here what we have to do is, if the temperature is increasing or piston is running too hot, so that means cut out fuel pump, increase cylinder lubrication and stop the engine. Continue cylinder lubrication and turning even after engine is stopped to prevent seizure. Open and dismantle the piston. If slight scoring is seen on the piston, then smoothen with an oil stone or emily paper. After that, check cylinder lubrication and piston clearance. If there is cracked cylinder head, cylinder head there is crack. The may be causes are excessive tightening of cylinder head cover sets combined with a thermal stress, corrosion at the combustion surface of cylinder head, normal expansion facility for cylinder head is restricted, inflexible structure under firing, defect in cylinder head casting. These are the causes. So indications will be knocking in cylinder, jacket cooling water, temperature and pressure will get increases or there will be fluctuation, expression turn level may drop and spark from the funnel. These are the reasons for crankcase. Then crankcase inspection, what are the checks we need to do? We mainly we have to check that for hotspot, white metal particles or foreign particles in the lube oil, color of lube oil and oil flow, check for white metal spacing at bearings. Check for the crankcase walls for carbon deposit, leaking from the diaphragm, check crank pin and web alignment, then all bolts and neck locking mark should be there, crankcase relief doll, any discoloration signifying hotspot should be checked, clearance of bearings etc should be checked, individual piston knocking at TDC, this will cause early fuel injection due to incorrect fuel pump or fuel cam adjustment, overloader engine unit, check effective delivery stroke of respective fuel pump, fuel ball nosing is getting sticking or Fold cylinder or unsuitable fuel, top piston ring strikes against ridge bone at cylinder line at top, excessive clearance between piston and cylinder, excessive bearing clearance of running gear, running gear bolts have loosened, piston may be striking against cylinder head cover at TDC. So these are the reasons may, may be individual piston knocking at if the top dead cylinder, if any single piston is knocking at top dead cylinder, these are the reasons, these are the causes. Early fuel ingestion due to incorrect fuel pump or fuel cam adjustment, overload engine unit. So we have to check the delivery stroke of the respective fuel pump, fuel ball nozzle sticking, fold cylinder or suitable or unsuitable fuel, top piston ring strikes against the ridge of the bone liner, then excessive clearance between piston and cylinder, excessive bearing clearance of running gear, running gear bolts have been loosened. So piston may be striking against cylinder head at the top dead center. If the bearing temperature increases, so what are the causes? Maybe low lube oil pressure supplied to the bearing or low oil level supplied to the tank. Air lock in the lube oil or lubricating grooves obstructed. Oil piping is defective or lube oil valves have been shut. Or lube oil contains water or metal impurities. Excessive bearing clearance, excessive wear or improper tightening. If the lube oil sample level is rising, so what are the causes, pitching or rolling or changes due to cargo loading and all or water leakage from the piston cooling or jacket water system, lube oil purifier that may can be wrongly operated that is discharge valve of some purifier is wrongly or operated thereby filling the pump, so thereby uh, sample level will be increasing, transfer pump valves wrongly lined up, then lube oil inlet valve for storage tanks may be open, so lube oil sample level, these are the reasons for rising. Then automatic stopping of the engine, this may be also happen, this can also happen during our watch. This occurs due to activation of safety shutdown or over speed cutout device, control air pressure if the shutdown servo motor too low, causing pressure to pull the fuel linkage back to zero, governor is defective, fuel supply stopped due to clogged filter or empty tank or airlock. So the automatic stopping of the engine mainly occurs due to activation of safety shutdown or over speed cutout device, control air pressure in shutdown servo meter is too low or causing pressure to pull the fuel linkage back to zero, 
the governor is defective fuel supply stopped due to clogged filter or empty tank or air lock knocking in an ng cylinder fuel valve nozzle needle st step open then early fuel injection or too much fuel quantity injected due to wrong fuel timing then end of piston rings are knocking against edge of the scavenging and exhaust port due to deformation during fitting one or more driving gear components have excessive vertical clearance these are the reason for knocking in ng cylinder then conduction of screws on the piston rod or piston are not tight enough knocking of all cylinder is due to incorrectly set camshaft or unsuitable fuel so these are the problems that may arise during our engine room batch thank you